In Japan, every Transformers cartoon until the release of Car Robots, the original, Japanese title for robots in disguise, can be somewhat easily fit into a single unified continuity, much like the unified American G1, Beast continuity. This includes the American G1 cartoon, minus season 4, which Japan did not air, and Beast series as well as Headmasters, Master Force, Victory, Zone, Beast Wars 2, and Beast Wars Neo. In the 21st century, they also developed a fondness for new fiction that was retroactively inserted into available gaps in the G1 timeline, like Binaltech, Kiss Players and Robot Masters. Despite this additional story material, all of these stories fit together. Save for Binaltech, which was spun off into its own alternate timeline as its story progressed. In Japan, then, Car Robots was the first full reboot. Following Crossing, Micron Legend and Superlink were connected into a third major Japanese continuity, and then, as noted above, Galaxy Force started a fourth. In 2007, Takara Tomi performed some significant retcons to their Generation 1 timeline, most visible in a timeline posted on their website, accompanied by a flowchart, at right, and much more extensively in another one printed in the KISS Players compilation book. The most significant aspect of this retcon was to insert car robots into the Generation 1 timeline, establishing that its characters came from the future and exploiting an unfinished manga from Super Robot magazine to explain why the Generation 1 cast was not present during the events of the series. This does not explain the humans being unfamiliar with the Transformers however. The website timeline makes one further, rather bizarre claim that is not reflected in either the accompanying flowchart or the KISS player's timeline, which is that the 2007 live-action movie also takes place in the Japanese Generation 1 continuity in 2007. This seems, highly unlikely. In addition to this serious working over of the Generation 1 universe, the website timeline also took a moment to retcon Galaxy Force back into the same timeline as Micron Legend and Superlink, as it had always been presented in the West. American fans who had spent a year whining about how Hasbro had totally ruined the show by ignoring the super cool and awesome Japanese intent were promptly pointed and laughed at. In addition to the above, Nearly every Japanese TF franchise has had ancillary manga published in magazines such as Comics Bon Bon. The relationship between the manga and cartoons varied. For example, the manga associated with the first two years of Transformers, pre-movie, can easily fit into the cartoon continuity, but would not contribute much of substance to the timeline. Some of the later G1 manga, however, such as those associated with Master Force and Victory, contradict the cartoons bearing the same names.